All right, uh, let's look at uh, the, uh, problem number two. Uh, graph this uh, piecewise defined function. All right, so let's do that. Uh, let's look at the first definition. Uh, if you want, uh, we can also rewrite this uh, first guy as uh, negative 2x plus 2. All right, just, uh, you know, change the order. Then so that you can see that this is in the form of mx plus b. So we know that the slope is negative 2 and uh, uh, y-intercept is 2. So let's start uh, sketching the picture. All right. Let's see. So I'm going to draw um, x-axis here. Oops. All right. And also the uh, y-axis probably like that. So it's not very straight. Right, so here's the y-axis, here's the origin. Right, so what we want to do is uh, we're going to start with the y-intercept. Y-intercept is uh, 2, so it's going to actually go through uh, 2 right there. All right, so um, let's see, so going through here. All right, then slope is negative 2, which means that uh, as you go to the right one step, it's going to actually come down 2. So you can see that, uh, let's see, it's going to hit um, uh, right here, 1, All right? Then it's going to look like uh, this. So go to the right 1 unit, go down 2. So we have, I'm going to just uh, draw a dotted line. So this is going to be the straight line representing uh, uh, negative 2x plus 2, right? then what we need to do is uh, we need to pay attention to uh, this guy right here it says that uh, it's uh, x has to be less than one so we we'll, we can only keep uh, the part on the left some left hand side of uh, x equals one and since this is a strict inequality we're gonna put the uh, open circle at one then we can only keep the graph to the left of uh, x equals 1. All right. So that's the first piece. All right. So the second piece is already written in a nice form. Uh, x minus 3. So slope is 1. And a y-intercept is a negative 3. All right. So we go to a negative, uh, negative 3. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3. So negative 3. So we're going to go through there. And then you're going to have a slope of 1. So as you go to the right 1 unit, you're going to go up 1. Right? So you, we're looking at the straight line uh, going through uh, negative 3 there. And the slope is 1. Right? So it's going to look kind of like that. All right. Then let's see, it's going to go to 1, 2, so this is going to be 3 there. So right here is 3. All right, then uh, we can keep this graph as long as uh, x is greater than or equal to 1. So which means that uh, we can start from here at 1. Then I put the solid dot because uh, there's uh, equality uh, included. Right, then we can take uh, to the right because it's a greater than. So we have uh, this half of the line should be included. All right, so the com combination of these two uh, pieces of graph is going to be the graph of this piecewise, de a piecewise defined function. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.